First and ten for the Hurricanes. Knighton in the backfield. Incomplete. Intended for the tight end, Will Mallory. It'll be second down and ten. A lot of confidence the past couple weeks, but right here, it's the pressure in his face by Cooper that doesn't allow him to step into the throw. And mm, Akeem, Akeem Dent right there. He gives the receivers one-on-one -on -one opportunities down the, down the field, and having him back has really been a luxury for them so far this game. As Comano's punt comes down to George, and George a few yards on the return after that 41-yard punt. Quick slant complete out to the 43 with Spetro. See Derek King there on the sidelines with his injured shoulder. Knighton battling for the first down. It's going to be an interesting fourth and short coming up. Here Thomas making the tackle. Knighton gets the call. And it looks like he got it. They moved the chain, so Manny Diaz takes a gamble on fourth down, and it bears dividends here in the first quarter. FSU has to find a way to stop Miami's three-headed offensive monster of Jalen Knighton, TBD, and Charleston Rambo. Van Dyke over the middle. There's that slant you talked about. Waiting for a call. It might be caught by the Seminoles. Picked off. Right here, it's a bang-bang play. And Jamie Robinson says, give me them cookies, baby. It's our ball. And to be back on the football field with the ability to play is really a miracle. Travis facing a blitz, and they got him with the pressure. Corey Flagg sacked him way back. You'll see him right here coming off the outside and just gets inside. the. <laughs> and look, this Miami defense loves to bring pressure. Right? They don't have a true pass rush specialist this year, so make up for all the penalties and get Florida State to punt. 24th sack of the season for the Hurricanes. Mask Romano with the punt. Kobe George watches it bounce out of bounds right around the 20 yard line. Van Dyke. Ball came loose. It's on the ground. And it looks like the Hurricanes may have gotten it back. As you see him here, look, he gets physical. Tells the offensive lineman, get out the way, man. Gets his hand on the quarterback, causes the fumble, and then gets in there as part of the recovery process. Jermaine Johnson is not just a great player at Florida State. He will be a Sunday guy. He's big, he's physical, he's got the moves, and he has the energy and the motor. First and 10 for Jordan Travis from the 12. Hands it off. A little bit of room around the edge. Corbin scores! Touchdown, Florida State! In one fell swoop on a sweep, the Seminoles go up by a couple of touchdowns. The key is obviously getting the edge. This guy right here and this guy right here have to set the edge of the defense. They don't. Jay Sean Corbin gets the ball, and guess what? Speed in space always wins the race. That's what these guys are trying to do. They're trying to get their athletes in space. He said that he's had a fantastic week of practice along with his teammates ready to go. Van Dyke had it batted down to the line of scrimmage by Jared Jackson. So it'll be fourth and three, another three and out for the Hurricanes offense. Two interceptions, a fumble, and this Florida State defense is really playing to their potential. Wilson back for this punt. There was contact made apparently before, and now a flag thrown. Seven seconds to go in the opening quarter. Nice fake by Travis. And he's going to pick up a first down, still on his feet. Travis down to the 40 yard line. A great exclamation point on the end of the first 15 minutes. Treshawn Ward in the backfield on first down and 10 from the Hurricane 50. A high toss. And Ward going to be brought down immediately. Might have lost a yard. Flag making the tackle on the play. And Travis taking a shot downfield. Wide open and caught. Ontario Wilson makes it first and goal. Long pass play. 
Yes, listen. You see this, this relationship right here. This corner has nothing in front of him. He has to sink until a threat comes out there. And if he doesn't, the safety has to get over the top to make sure that that... Into the end zone, Travis overshoots his receiver. That was Malik McLean. And it'll be fourth down, so the Hurricanes get a stop. This one coming from 22 yards out. Like a drill. 17-0 for the Seminoles. Third and short coming up after that six-yard game. Knighton on the handoff, and he'll move the chains. Out to the 37-yard line. Oh, you got to be a different kind of cat to be going around the middle hitting guys like that. And Dyke over the middle. Caught at the 48-yard line by Will Mallory. What a grab to pick up 11 and move the chain. Harley in motion. And Dyke gets rid of it quickly and incomplete for Harley. It'll be fourth down coming up for the Hurricanes. Travis on a predetermined quarterback run. Nobody set the edge, and he picks up the first down for the Seminoles. First and ten. Corbin in the backfield takes the handoff. Boy, a yawning hole between the tackles, and they gash the Hurricanes quick. First down. He just goes into that gray area and, can, and makes something happen. Manny Diaz struggling with Travis as an improviser. And they're struggling with Corbin on this run. He picks up another first down. Got about 13 on the play. First and 10. Quick drop. Completes it over the middle. To the tight end, Jordan Wilson. Second and eight. Nowhere to go that time. Good play by those guys up front. Treshawn Ward. Stopped up for a loss of a couple on the play. Let's just say it's in their it's in their nature, and it's what they've been doing all year and been successful at. Travis, little counter here. This is Corbin, and Corbin with a nice run. Because the locker room wasn't clean. It's the details that matter. From 52 yards out, that's going to be wide and short. Right. Ryan Fitzgerald. I love you. I respect you. I love what you've done for the U. But I'm here to break your record. <laughs> and he has since subsequently done that. Knighton on the run. Picks up about three. Brownlee making the tackle on the play. Charlie Ward. They can run the reverse. With a flea flicker action. Van Dyke. Downfield. Mallory with the catch. Inside the 10. First and goal. Miami. They finally hit on one. A little special here. Oh, yes, he did. They do a double reverse pass, and Will Mallory ends up wide open down the sideline. Their big three at the receiver position are Charleston Rambo, Will Mallory, and Mike Harley. Those are their guys in these situations. Over the middle. Touchdown, Miami. Smith. And guess what? They threw it to Keyshawn Smith. They said they got a Keyshawn of their own. And he just hauled in a touchdown catch on a beautiful throw. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry. And right now, they're laughing as they get on the board. I'm going to force in the NFL. Travis, out of the backfield, complete Ward. Ward close to the 40. During the two minute drill, which really kind of got him confident. And the entire offense turned around. On the counter, this is Corbin. And Corbin close to another first down for Florida State. And another flag, man. Wow. Man, these guys are playing at a high level right now. Second and two. Quick toss to the wide side of the field. And, man, Corbin blew a tire. And they're not an offense that really cares about possession of the ball. They just want to score. Third and three. Travis. Calls his own number. He's not going to make the first down. He's going to be stopped up short. It'll be fourth and about a long two. Mm -hmm. This game looms large and neighborhoods all the way from Dade County to Leon County. The eighth field goal is good from 27 yards out by Fitzgerald. And that's going to end the first half of play. 
Cerberus. Okay. I knew that, by the way. <laughs> Wilson made a nice move, made a couple of guys miss. And then a nice tackle after a 14 yard gain by Tyreek Stevenson. He has actually <laughs> looked at me and said, hey, we got to calm down. Yes, they do. Uh, talk about missed tackles, turnovers, and penalties that plagued the Hurricanes in that first half. Taking a shot. And it's incomplete. Young had it. And then when he hit the ground, it jarred loose. Astromano going to punt here. The Australian with the rugby-style kick. Boy, gets off a great moonshot. And a fair catch called all the way back at the 10-yard line by Jacoby George. Not afraid of trying to put him in tight windows. They're going to run it here. And look who's making another play. Jermaine Johnson saying no to Brashard Smith. Jermaine Johnson, like I said, he's going to be a Sunday guy. He's right here at the top of your screen. And you're going to see him read it and accelerate and explode and get to the running. They go with the trips left formation. Van Dyke going to try and take off and brought down at the 16-yard line. The ubiquitous Jermaine Johnson. He is everywhere on the field this afternoon. Have to show up. And Jermaine Johnson has showed up time and time again. He's getting blocked. He gets off and he makes the tackle on Tyler Van Dyke. Second sack of the afternoon for the Seminoles. Here's the punt. Caught, fumbled in traffic. Loose ball. And the Seminoles pouncing on the loose ball. It'll be first and ten from about the 42-yard line. Keep his legacy alive. The counter put it on the ground. Loose ball. Scramble for it, and the Hurricanes come up with it. Silvera has the ball for Miami. Oh, yeah, we had a, just a miscommunication there, right? And then the handoff between Jordan Travis and Jay Sean Corbin. And Jay Silvera said, listen. I stayed at the crib because I want to make the crib great. <laughs> and he gets the fumble recovery. And could this be a sign that Uncle Mo is switching over? Knighton's going to pick up the first down on third down and two. So the Hurricanes kind of move it down the field after that fumble recovery. Van Dyke has time wide open at the 20. That's Franklin. Ball comes out, but he might have been down first. They're going to rule that he was down. They've been unstoppable really the whole game. Let's see if they can come up big here on third and goal. Van Dyke. Ball up here. Caught in the end zone. A Miami miracle by Harley. Touchdown, Canes. He has his fourth touchdown catch of the season. Right here, Tyler Van Dyke's trying to throw it. He gets it tipped. And then Mike Harlan says, hold up, wait a minute. Y'all <laughs> thought I was finished? Oh, my Lord. This rivalry, you never know who's going to be the hero. You never know what type of plays are going to be made. Second and five. Oh. Travis eludes the heat. Lost the ball. Looks like he almost threw it out of bounds forward the official there shaking his head yeah you see it here whenever you're going after a quarterback like Jordan Travis who can run you got to pursue him all the way through he knew that he was about to step third down and ten three receivers out to the top of your screen a little trips left Travis on the move pulls the trigger wide open at the 43 yard line that's Douglas moving the chains with the first down Travis, there was some great Ooh. ball handling, but there's going to be a flag Amazing, call man. on Frierson. Had a handful of face masks. We could see it from three stories up in our booth here. A lot of dudes went to Jared's this week. Ball almost came out, and Travis got rocked. Let's see if they dial up a little bit of heat here on third and long. Travis. Predetermined quarterback run, and the Miami defense is going to get off the field here. It'll be fourth and long, a gain of about one 
DeAndre Johnson making the tackle on the play. You're going to watch that Wake Forest NC State game. Could be a lot of points. Sam Hardman, Devin Leary, but that NC State defense is something serious. 97 yards away, Van Dyke fires, and it's caught. There he is, finally, Rambo with the reception. Look back at that previous play with Charleston Rambo facing off against Jarvis Brownlee. Listen, a picture's worth a thousand words, and right here, you see him make that kick. Wow. wow, look at that, Jordan Travis, starting quarterback, going into the locker room to be checked out. Van Dyke, wide open, Rooster, ready to throw with a first down to the 35-yard line. It's throwing head. Meanwhile, his counterpart hands it off to Rooster, and uh, Knighton is going to be stopped up for a loss of about one on the play. He relied on his dad, who played in the NFL, and his mom, Shalita Knighton, to keep his spirits up. Van Dyke incomplete into traffic intended for Smith. This well within his range. And it might have been tipped at the line of scrimmage. Oh no, Jarvis oh, there's Brownlee a flag ran down. into the kicker. Delivers. Caught! Rambo! With the first down at the 13, he was working against Brownlee and made a huge play. So Diaz does it. Oh my, fourth and six. This is a lot of drama for your mama right here, baby. And who do you go to? And Rooster caught in the backfield. That's going to be a loss. Jermaine Johnson continues to put money on tape. Philip Rivers, and really like, he'll take chances to get into the tight windows. Third and long, completes it. Out of the backfield, Smith on the move. Short of the first down, inside the five at the four-yard line. Van Dyke hits the corner, complete, touchdown Mallory! And the Canes a point away from taking the lead. Manny Diaz rolls the dice and comes up huge. Times the simplest plays are the ones that work. They bring Rambo across with some eye candy, and they just work Will Mallory into the flat, allowing Tyler Van Dyke to hit him in stride and get the touchdown. Third down and ten. Travis going to sling it again, completes it to Parchment, went right back to him, but it's out of bounds short of the first down. DJ Ivy pushed him out of bounds. And we're just going to see who's got enough money at the end of the day to keep making those deposits and come away victorious. So you trying to tell me the Hurricanes just had the lead on layaway? They put it on layaway? You know, they got good credit, I hear. Hey, listen, we know what layaway is. Okay? 800, <laughs> score, 800 credit score. <laughs> yeah, and the thing he did really well there was when it's time to go, you go. Here's Rooster on the run. Tripped up short of the first down by a yard, but it looks like there's a flag down. And now Van Dyke, you see his humbleness, his confidence. Gets rid of it in time to Quint, to his main target, Rambo. Making sure he worked with the quarterback when he broke the pocket. Van Dyke, flushed out of the pocket. Got a lot of real estate ahead of him. Got a good block, too, inside the 30. Trips inside the 25-yard line, and the Canes offense on a roll right now. The yard line. He got tripped up a little bit, but listen, he's keeping his eyes down the field. When it's time to go, he goes. He sees all that open space, and he's like, oh, me? Okay, let's go. Get vertical. And really learning, and Coach Lashley talked about how he learned from his leadership as well. Van Dyke swarmed, swallowed, and sacked. Back at the 35, guess who? You only got one guess, Jermaine Johnson. Demon in he that just, backfield. He's right in there at the top, the bottom of your screen right there. He just keeps making plays. Double teaming, whatever, but don't let him take you out of this game. Loss of nine, Van Dyke out of the backfield, hits Rooster, ready to throw. Rooster took a hit and keeps going. Nine, touchdown, Canes! Robert he did a nice job with the Texas route catches it over the middle mm. and the roosters here cockle doodle do baby second down and three lead a Hall of Famer one of the boats one of the best ever to it and that's Trey Sean Ward picking up the first down 
Logan is averaging five yards a pop tonight. Travis looking to pass it. And now tucks it under. He's got some work to do. He's going to come up a little bit short. Fourth and about half a yard to go. He's going to do it himself. Ward. Boy, oh. that's going to be a big hit. Let's see where they spot it. It looks like he got the first down. And Travis under duress completes it. A flag down. The catch made by Williamson. A lot going on here. A lot to unpack. Is it a first down? Will it stand because of the flag? Marcus Clark made the tackle. 13 penalties. That is not one of them. Jordan Travis steps up, lets go of it, completes it at the 18-yard line to Wilson. <laughs> Second and nine. Travis delivers it complete at the 20-yard line to McDonald. He's brought down immediately. Under six minutes to go, Frierson with the tackle on the play. Travis drills it. It's caught. They're going to mark it about the 11-yard line to Douglas. Right, you're trusting your defense to get that stop, and you score, now you win the game. Now you don't have to score and go for two. It's a smart decision. Fitzgerald, two of three today, knocks this one through from 29 yards out. The margin is down to five. It's okay, Matt. Bro. He might need some straightening after this game. <laughs> Van Dyke delivers a strike complete to Harley, who had that miraculous touchdown catch a little bit earlier. Completes it to Mallory, the tight end, fighting, but coming up a little bit short. The Seminoles' defense impervious on that play. And that's where we are right now. Fourth down and two. Aston, pardon me. Headley in the punt. Wow. Going to get a great bounce. But they won't stop it before it gets into the end zone. 20 yard line, but that's a much better operating situation than being backed up in the interior. Travis going up top. Caught! Douglas! Huge! The Seminole strike on the first play. They gotta do it, and who does it? It's the man out the slot, Juki Douglas. Look at this man flying down the field. He said, You wanna go one on one? That was their eighth of this game, third and 14. Travis, ball comes out loose. And it's an incomplete pass. He's looking for Douglas again. So now fourth and 14 with 105 to go. Under 25. Travis delivers. On, on Jordan Travis's face walking off the field because he knows he just made a big time play. And right here, Andrew Parchment is clearly in. down. He's not into the end zone. Right here, you see the ball. Wrist, all of that is down. Short of the end zone. There. Short of the end zone. Here he is trying to find it. Boom, gets hit. Let's see where the elbow. Yep. Elbow's down. That's actually not that definitive a look right there. <laughs> not going to lie to you. But uh, the other the previous one was. The... Here we go. First and goal. No signal. No touchdown. Stopped up short of the end zone. Keeps it again. No signal short of the end zone on consecutive plays. And there's a flag down as well. It's got in. It really did. You know, they went up the middle. They went to the right. They went to the left. And right here, you see it? Yep. Touchdown. He's in the end zone. He got a little help from his friends. And listen, people, win, lose, or draw, it's always popping at recess in college time. Offside. Defense. Oh, man. Goals half a distance to the goal. Still second down. Travis again, and he got in, touchdown Seminoles!
movement up front. Travis says, don't worry about it. I got this. JT. Outside. Defense. Point is to climb. The point after is good. As in JT money. He was cash. Here he is right here. Gets the guy to jump off sides and says, you know what? It don't matter. I'm going to just go out there and stun on him. Gets the two-point conversion, almost ensuring that his team will not lose this game by a field goal for sure. And they got 26 seconds. Miami has 26 seconds to get in field goal range or score a touchdown to win this game. Coaches say Jordan Travis. And his guys know it, but they got to finish this game and ensure that Miami can't come back. And it's that first and 10 from the 25. Let's go to the studio. Van Dyke. Incomplete intended for Rambo at the 45. Battling against Cooper. So the graphic. Last five hurricane games decided by four points or less. Incomplete over the middle. It'll be third down and 10. This receiver. Well, look at that man right there again. Jermaine Johnson, number 11. Third and 10. Van Dyke lets it rip. Into traffic, incomplete. A big hit on Mallory as Cooper and he collide. Corner was trying to catch the ball, and that's probably why they didn't call it. It was accidental contact. Here we go. Van Dyke finds his receiver at the 44. Two seconds to go. Rambo, they got to get to work quickly. Mike Norvell seems to be indicating should be zero time left. He took a three-step drop and spiked it. Yeah. By rule, in order for the quarterback to spike the ball, there has to be three seconds on the clock. There were two. Therefore, the ball game is over. Oh, my Lord. What an inglorious ending for the Hurricanes. 